Hello there, very good day to you. I trust you are well and found to be today in the Lord Jesus Christ, in his mercy and in his grace. If that be the case, how blessed are you that you today can say, I have peace with God. Today, after a short break, I'm going to continue to share with you just very briefly from a book called The Lord's Prayer and that is by a Puritan named Thomas Watson. Over the last months I have been going through this, uh, little snippets from here and there throughout the great chapters of this book. First of all, I'll recommend the book to you, a great read, a great encouragement to those who are in the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm going to turn your attention today to a subject which is of great encouragement, hence the title, what are the encouragements to make Christians hold on till they come to the kingdom of heaven? We all need encouragement, don't we? Whether that because of the burden of sin, maybe our past, maybe that which we are found in at the moment. We're going through times of trial and seems like it's a valley. It seems like we're never really on the mount. Let me continue in this great book. What are the encouragements to make Christians hold on till they come to the kingdom of heaven? It is a great credit to Christians, says Watson, not only to hold forth to the truth, but to hold fast the truth till he comes to heaven. When grace flourishes into perseverance and with the church of Thyatira our last works are more than our first. It is a star of honour. Revelation 2 of course verse 19. It is a matter of renown to see grey hairs shine with golden virtues. And he says this, the excellency of the things lies in the finishing of it. Let me repeat that. The excellency of things lie in the finishing of it. The excellency of a thing is the finishing of it. Where is the excellence of a building? Not when the first stone is laid, though that of course is, as I comment, of great encouragement. But when it is finished, so the beauty and the excellence of a Christian is when he has finished his faith, having done his work and landed safe in heaven. Short though it be, how great an encouragement that is. The excellency of a thing lies in the finishing of it. Here we are today in a time of trial, time of maybe a time of confusion. Maybe we are found to be battling through, again as I have already said and alluded to, whether that be our sin, whether that be a circumstance, that in Christ he has begun a good work. But wherein lies the excellency of it? What is the pinnacle? What is the crown? Of course, it will be that day when we enter glory itself. When we see him, the Lord Jesus Christ. When we meet with him face to face. That is our hope. That is our excellency. That is the excellency. In 2 Timothy 4 verse 7, Paul says this, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course, I have kept the faith. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. Oh, and look at the wondrous words of this letter. And not to me only, says Paul, but unto all them also that love is appearing. Paul also says, as I often quote, he that began a good work in you 
will bring it to completion. This is the promise. So these are the encouragements that we need today. That God in Christ will bring us to heaven. Be encouraged. Press on and trust in him who began the good work. For he will indeed finish it. God bless you. Amen.